Good morning. Welcome to the Quilted Chicken Farm in Rita's Rose. Well, I got some new fabrics yesterday, and I didn't do the box opening. Sorry about that. But I'm just going to show them to you, and I'm going to talk to you about what I think they might make a pretty quilt out, quilt with. Now, this one, this is a Mannequin Simpson. It's still got its plastic on it, but it's kind of, it's an it's a off-white kind of with little uh, beigey, browny, light brown, tan, little dotty things on it. <laughs> I'll show it to you. It'd make a pretty background. And I've got it listed on the website, so you can go look at the picture better there, if you can see that or not. But wouldn't that be pretty in something? So I got that one. And I got some more uh, Chickadee Landing. I've got this one. Got that one with Chickadee Landing. I got this one. I've got this one, which is orchid color. And then, uh, I don't know what all you call those colors. And I still got, let's see, how many more have I got? Oh. And these are not much on these, but these are all part of the Chickadee Landing collection. That one, I got some, some of that one, and some of this one. Let me show them to you, then I'm going to talk some more. There's not much on this one. Well, there may be two and a half, maybe three yards, maybe not that much. And then this one. But I've had this quilt book here. Since, actually since 2006 because it, I've never made I've never made a bar jello I've never made one I have one that my mama got, bought for me from one of her friends that made it but I bought this book in 2006 and not not made a thing out of it but I just thought that this collection sure would make a pretty bar jello don't you think there's that one like the heart. And they're getting even more fancy than what this book shows. i find another color picture. Well, I don't think I can. But I just thought that those would sure make that pretty. And what else have I got? Let me move these. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lay them right there out of the way. And then I'll pick them up in just a minute. Oh, and another trip around the world. Trip around the world was one of the first quilts that I made strip piecing years ago. I don't know where, don't know where it went. It got qu hand quilted up at the little church I went to, and I, I don't know where it's at. But these colors would do a pretty trip around the world, and they're they're more. They're, some of them are more manly colors, and you wouldn't have to be a be a little girly quilt. And what am I going to do now? Let me move this. What I'm going to do now is I've got this new gingham. Hadn't even took the plastic off of it. And I've got four yards of it sold. So I'm fixing to cut four yards. Weigh it up. Figure out the shipping. And since this is Saturday, it won't get in the mail till Monday morning. But that's what I'm fixing to do. And then... And then I've got a quilt on the quilt machine, so I'm going to go up there and quilt. Oh, and the grandson's coming. Two of the grandsons are coming, and my 16-year-old grandson that helps me is helping me with the website. He's going to be here helping me, and the other one's going to go out with Papa Terry, and I don't know what they're going to do, but one with me and one with him and we're just gonna we're gonna I may quilt let the grandson work on my computer on some stuff I, but I don't know how I can do that live and him work on my computer we'll we'll have to figure it out I don't know what we're gonna do <laughs> we're just gonna have a good day whatever we do we're gonna make the best of it and it'll be a be a great day I'm telling you I'll talk to y'all later bye for now